um, craze is going to start happening here in the next few months. People are going to start staking their hex. Um, and I don't know what we're going to see, but I mean, it's definitely going to get, as soon as people start seeing big payday coming, they're going to want to stake. Um, I think that I don't, I don't know what it's going to do to, um, price or whatever, but I think a lot of people are going to make mistakes and, and stake short right after big payday and try and get their big payday and get out or whatever. And that's going to wreck a bunch of people, which is good for the, for the strong hands. That's for sure. See, I had to, I had to kind of re re reassess my, my strategy. Um, Cause initially I kind of thought, you know, most crypto projects usually last two, three years tops. Uh, so, you know, I was thinking, well, maybe this, maybe this won't let last, you know? So I tried to stake everything out for the first couple of years and then I started looking at my stakes and, uh, you know, we had uh, that conversation with Firebun and I'm looking through and going, well, you know, these are 50%. I'm only losing, you know, a little bit. Uh, so why not go ahead and put these out a little bit longer? Because once you start learning, you know, the how the uh, shares affect, affect it and the fact that we're never going to get a better share price than right now. Uh, mm -hmm. And once once big payday hits and the share price goes ridiculous after that first big payday <laughs> person cashes in and now you're you're in a much better position. And I'm, I'm kind of wondering, you know, because everyone thinks that there's going to be well, not everyone. Uh, people outside the project think there's going to be a big dump on big payday. And I think that the people that are in, if they understand what their shares are, they're not going to want to give up their position after big payday. Yep. So I don't think there'll be a bunch you know, other than people like, sticking now, you know, they're going to in and out and, and they're going to be, they're going to be in and out fast. It seems like. So I, I don't see how that's going to dump anything. I think the same story because, Many people that might have started hearing about it before it was ever snapshot. And then once they did from snapshot, maybe they bought enough to where they staked it out. And if you understood that big payday was going to be you know, effectively two or three or four times your stack, then I think there's a lot. That's what you see on the charts. At least you see a lot of people that their stakes end at right after big payday. But the question before was, do I cash out? And I think, you know, people like Trayvon James and things like that, they kind of popularized this idea that it's going to be a big dump just because of human nature. But the more that we're mm -hmm. able to get content out into the world to understand that, yeah, you might have doubled your stack of coins, but I think a lot more people are going to spread that that win, that, that, that stack. I think they're going to spread it over the next five to ten years. I think they're going to divvy their winnings up over five to ten years and increase their their holdings sure. in the future and i don't think you'll see a cash dump see i don't it. think you'll see i don't think you'll see um uniswap dump the the levels that people were thinking that it might come a ladder but see baby, that's man. the catch though is if you cash in right after big payday you're not going to get the share price that you're getting now so it actually takes all that much more hex to get the same amount of shares of course so it, it's better now, if you're in it for the long term, to go ahead and stake out before the big payday happens, because if you cash out after big payday and try to restake that hex, you cannot get that share price. And that share price is now going to be based on what that return was, and it's going to go ballistic. Yeah. So it's like you might have 3% of the pot. Now you only have 1% of the pot. 